This video will outline the spell checking features of the QDAP package for R. So first we'll load QDAP, then we'll type question mark, check spelling, and this will take us to the help page for QDAP's spelling functions. You'll notice several functions in there. Uh, check spelling, which misspelled, check spelling interactive, and correct. First we'll talk about which misspelled. This works on a single string and it looks for errors and it optionally gives you suggestions. Check spelling is a vectorized version that works on a vector of strings. Check spelling interactive is an interactive session that works similar to the way uh, spell check would work in a um, program such as Microsoft Word. And then the correct function um, produces um, from a check spelling interactive model uh, it produces a function that can be used to correct um, text based on the corrections that were specified. Okay, let's look at some of the arguments. First you have text var, that's generally a character. Um, then you have range. And range is in there for efficiency. So let's put a, an example. Say you have the word benevolent and you spelled it benevolent. Okay? And you'll notice in the original we have um, 10 characters. And you'll notice here we only have 7 characters. So if you specified a range equaling 2 and you misspelled benevolent like this, the dictionary that is created for efficiency's sake would not find benevolent because it's too many characters off. However, if we specified a range of three, it would find benevolent. Uh, another example, maybe you have the word, let's use good, and you spelled it as good with lots of O's. There's three, six, nine characters versus the original four. Again, if you had a range of two, this misspelling is a total of six characters more than good. That's way outside of the range. Whereas if you had a range of six or greater, this spelling of good, um, its dictionary suggestion would contain good. Let's move on to the next argument. Assume first correct. Again, this is for efficiency's sake. And this assumes that the first letter is spelled correctly. So, for instance, if you spelled good as jud, it will not find or will not use a dictionary that contains the actual word good. And this is more efficient in assuming that the first letter is spelled correct in the word but it's more error prone so you have to weight off the advantages and disadvantages the default is to assume the first letter of the word is spelled correctly method that's used by string dist um, package um, the default is jacquard and then some sort of dictionary that is passed to the function and this is really to look up in and find matches uh, the, the default is to use um, QDAP dictionaries Grady augmented and that's a list of Grady's words list that's augmented with additional words alright let's see this thing in action first look at which misspelled we have here a single string and we can use which misspelled on it and we'll say suggests false so just tell us what words are misspelled that means they do not match the Grady word list they may or may not actually be misspellings if you have a proper noun it may not be found here again we will use suggest equals true and actually will take a little longer it'll give us one suggestion and then multiple other suggestions that fall within um, string distance. Okay. Generally, typically, you will not be using which misspelled unless you're creating 
uh, functions. Typically, you will use spell ch or check spelling or check spelling interactive. So let's create a data set. Looks like this, and we can see everything else is spelled correctly, but I did make intentional errors in this first string. Jasperita being a proper noun, liked, misspelled, cookie, misspelled, and ice cream, misspelled. So then we use check spelling interactive, and we'll use the default settings. And this could take some time depending on your string. And you can see right here the the line and you can see the word that's found that's misspelled it gives you the context and you have several choices you can choose one of the suggestions here or the top two you can type your own or you can ignore if it's a proper noun you may want to ignore you may want to type your own or choose one from the list here I see it and I choose it next I see the word ice cream is misspelled I do not see a spelling that I like so I'm going to type my own And you can spell it however you want. Jasperita is a proper noun. I'm going to say ignore. And then liked here is misspelled, and we see proper spelling. Uh, spell checking is complete, and it outputs what it should look like. And you can see the O. However, O, let's look at what O actually is. STR, O, that's the output from check spelling interactive. We can see it's actually a character vector, but it also has attributes. And one of those attributes is a function. So you can look at preprocess, by the way, from O, which I've done here. And this shows us uh, the words that are not found in the suggested replacement. Um, that we chose. It really is the dictionary lookup. These are right here, this column uh, is the column of words that we chose to replace the first column. And what we can do is take the word or take attributes of O and we see in here one of the attributes is a correct function and we can assign it and now we can take our original data, which was misspelled, and we can say we assigned it to fix it, and fix it made a fix it function. And now we are going to use that on that, and you can see it went through and made the corrections that we told it to make. Um, this is useful. O was already corrected. You can see they now match. O was already corrected when it came out of Check Spelling Interactive. But let's say we have a new data set. Uh, that would contain similar misspellings. We can use that um, attributes correct, create our own function, and then use that function on the new data set uh, that may contain similar errors. This will save time uh, because it, it is timely to create a spelling dictionary. This has been a tutorial on how to use the spell check functions in QDAP.